Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here with 60 and Me. Hope you're doing great wherever you are in this beautiful world of ours. Um, I'm in Switzerland and it is very hot here. We're having a super hot summer. I don't know when you're watching this, but um, it's July and it is very warm, 36 plus degrees, which is very unusual for a place where we don't have air conditioned houses. So I've got my trusty fan <laughs> that I may be using now and again to keep cool. But anyway, I hope that you're doing well. Um, I wanted to thank you for being here and also thank the new people that are joining us. Um, we have got people coming all the time, women in their 50s, all the way up through their 100. I don't know, we've got an 80, some 88, Year old woman I know for sure but we um, you know we just really appreciate you here and I wanted to uh, first of all my tea my tea my tea is uh, where's my tea Ch Chinese jasmine today it's a really lovely green tea and I'm just enjoying it um, hopefully you've got one as well coffee tea juice but um, I just enjoy a cup of tea I don't even care if it's 100 degrees I have a hot tea <laughs> It's kind of just my way, crazy way. But anyway, it's, uh, you know, whatever the weather, we're here. We're breathing on the planet, and that's all that really matters. But I wanted to thank you again for being here. And take a few minutes before we start our really good topic today by someone who I respect enormously, one of our bloggers, um, about just to say to you that as a company, 60 and Me, when we started, we decided we wanted to keep it open to the world. You know, we wanted all women over 50, 60 to be able to join us at no charge. So we don't charge a membership fee at all um, for 60 and Me. We have about five new articles a day that we put up on the website. We have, I think, over 1,500 videos now on YouTube. Huge number of videos that I record, um, you know, just in my own little home here studio. And I, I, I talk about things that are on your minds that are of, of interest and value. And we also have two things that we, that we sell that I wanted to mention to you. We have our Aging Beautifully deck of cards. This is a deck of 46 cards, which I know some of you know about because you have them, but they're beautifully illustrated, um, inspirational cards. They're, they've got a message I wrote on the back that kind of talks to the theme of, this, of the card. Things like, you know, embrace your sensual self. Uh, be proud of your age. You know, these are just really topics that create abundance, topics that we know are of interest to you. So that's the first thing. The second is our, our yoga videos. Now, the good news is that all of our yoga videos that we recorded and sold over the years um, are now free on YouTube, the, the uh, online access. So there's chair, chair yoga for seniors, gentle yoga, and then a flows DVD or a program, which is like a flow of, of different moves together. The DVDs are available if you want to purchase them separately, but the online access is totally free. So just go up to uh, youtube.com um, slash 60 and me, and you'll find the link there to our yoga videos. And then the other thing to mention is our other channels, uh, a website, We've got uh, five new articles a day I mentioned. They go out every, um, you know, d different times in the day. And also on the website, you'll find a games section, which is super cool if you like uh, word games or whatever, there's strategy games, something for everyone. And then finally, finally, um, is our Patreon community. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, just you should check it out. It's so fun. We started it about almost a year ago now, and it's for women who are able to give us a small donation, maybe $3 a month um, or what you can afford, and it helps us to keep 60 and Me going. It's, it helps us with our expenses because, as I said, we don't charge a membership, and we really appreciate your help. Anyway, we have women now there, um, and they just love it because we talk to each other kind of off the Facebook grid, we're just talking uh, on Patreon. I check it, out, check it out every single day. I join the conversations personally. And you know, it's like a sort of a VIP, like a club of women who are just you know, able to just give us a little bit of help, but in return, get exclusive videos, um, my travels, I take uh, exclusive videos just for the Patreon group and just me. You get a little bit more of, of my time and connection and uh, that's a, a gift for me as well as hopefully for you. So that's patreon.com. So topic today, now thank you for listening to that because I wanted to make sure you knew that it, you're in a 60 and me is not just about videos. But Julia Hubble is one of our bloggers and she wrote an article 
which was so impactful for me because she is one of these people that takes big risks, big chance, uh, big um, moves. And every year she does this. She creates, um, you know, a big, she calls it a big hairy, big ass, what is it? B-H-A-S, what is it? Big hairy ass goal. <laughs> but it's, a, it's one that's so uh, almost impossible. Like, am I going to do this? And so she is a great believer in anticipation. And I'm, I'm the same. I don't know if you are. I plan a trip maybe a year in advance and I just love to get ready for it and plan it and, um, and anticipate. And it's just that kind of, a joy, there's a joy in that. And she just allows herself to plan her case train because a lot of her goals, her big goals are climbing a mountain or um, Kilimanjaro or, you know, going hiking in some remote part of the world or taking a cruise on a ship in Bali. She has a very beautiful uh, story she's written about that. But the point here is that, is it time for you to start setting a big goal in your life? You know, give yourself permission to do something that you really, really love and then prepare for it, anticipate it, train for it, uh, tell the world you're doing it. This is, I don't know whether she mentions this, but it's a whole owning up that I'm going to go to, in her case, uh, research, research nomadic life in Mongolia. This is what she's doing this year. But, you know, it's not for everybody. And it doesn't have to be something big like that. It doesn't have to be, you know, traveling to climb a mountain or, you know, hot air ballooning. It just has to be something that you really want to do and that you're going to make time in your life to do them. Now, she writes um, articles about people that inspire her. And for one example, she talks about a lady, 84, I think, in her 80s, who trained to become a trapeze artist. Why not? <laughs> Why not be a trapeze artist when you're 80? I mean, honestly, that's a crazy goal for me personally, but this lady decided she wanted to become a trapeze artist. And so and there's a quote here that I think Julia writes, which is beautiful. And I want you to hear this because now you're probably thinking, Mark, it's crazy about being a trapeze artist or traveling to Mongolia. But Julia says, whether it's taking on a different kind of work, a new skill, or a move to a new town, it makes no difference. The point is to point ourselves in a new direction and to go to follow where it takes us. And she says, new things in life bring you um, enrichment. You know, they bring you joy in your heart and in your soul. And they do make you feel young again. Because why? Because you're starting over. You're starting something for the first time or a dream that you've had. And you're doing it. You're following it. You're following that dream. And as Julia says, you know, life is always about reinventing itself. Your, itself. And that's part of the, the beauty, I think, of, of what we do here at 60 and Me. I mean, we're not saying you have to change everything. It's just maybe choosing one little thing and, you know, and going for it. Now, you don't have to do adventure travel. You don't have to do something that's really dramatic. It's the spirit. It's your Everest might just be taking a solo trip to the next town. It, your, your Everest might be, um, you know, changing uh, a job that's, that's not, how, not you know, feeding you positivity or going back to work realizing that you haven't saved enough for retirement and that you're going to have to change your budget and your lifestyle. That could be your Mount Everest. It doesn't have to be something huge and big. Many people are dealing with physical limitations and Julia very sensitively talks about this in the article, which you should go and check out. It's a very nice article. And you know, she says that um, you know, maybe you've been a lifelong runner and then suddenly you can't run. You know, you've got some issue with your, your body. So you have to shift your focus. And I think that's really, really um, beautiful because you don't have to stop doing exercise or stop, you know, you, you exercise is maybe part of your life forever, but you can do yoga, you can do Pilates, you can do, um, you know, chair, chair yoga if you actually can't get up off the chair, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter what it is, just, you know, to set a goal and then to move forward towards it. And as I said, our yoga videos are free now, so you can watch them from the comfort of your, of your chair. So I think that, um, as Julia says, getting out of your chair and, and, tr and just trying something is the, is the most important thing. Every decision we make in our lives, every um, goal we set for ourselves has its challenges. And there's always a potential for failure or at least not achieving the goal 100%. But just going forward, getting started in the direction of your dream is all that really honestly matters at this point. 
And I think that yeah, for me, I've, I've recently made a change. I'm, I'm living in a, in a larger house now. I'm house sitting for a period of time. And it's been very unsettling, you know, in some ways. And I'm now uh, learning to uh, downsize in a way that I've never thought I would in a bigger house. It's kind of ironic. But for me, that's my goal this year is a downsizing goal. And I'm going to honestly um, work with anybody else who's interested in on, being on this journey. We've got a Patreon a little subgroup that's, that's uh, with me on the journey for downsizing. But whatever it is, just do it with all your heart. You know, what determines a well-lived life for you might be different than Julia and for me and for you know 80% of the women in our group, but it's yours. It's your goal. And uh, the very beautiful quote by the poet Mary, uh, writer Mary Oliver, where she, <clears throat> Mary Oliver, where she says, it's your life, your one wild and precious life. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with your one wild, precious life? Live it, live it, just live it. And I, I get emotional about this because I know everybody is out there dealing with so many different challenges and, um, you know, physical, mental, emotional, Whatever is going on in your life, trust me, <laughs> we've been there, all of us, we know, uh, at some degree. And you are, you've got friends here. You're not alone. Honestly, you're on, we've got people on your side. If you need an extra hug today, just put it in the, in the comments below. I need a hug. I need a big hug. And we'll do our best to help. But Julia, thank you so much for this and for this reminder that we should continue to dream big. Uh, whether that's a small step or a big step, but dream big in our 60s and beyond. And uh, just wishing you all, everyone, all the very best with your, with your personal goals and dreams. So what big goal have you got for this year? What big goal could be small, but what goal have you got for this year that's big for you? Thanks everybody for being here. I really appreciate um, your presence. Thanks for all your support across all our channels and look forward to uh, hearing your, your, your comments on what your goal is for this year and, uh, and joining the conversation. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, everybody, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.